Hello everyone, my name is Allison Shar, and can I just take a second to say, we did it? Oh, congratulations class of 2020. What a relief it is to finally cross the finish line. We've been working towards this moment for the last 13 years of our lives, and granted it's not quite the ending we all anticipated, but it still is one worth celebrating, because there are no more essays to write, no more tests to study for, and no more summer reading assigned. Well done. Okay, now before I move on, I would love to take a second to honor and thank the institution that brought us all here today. So thank you, Pacifica. Thank you to the founders, to the board of trustees. Thank you to all of those who have invested in this school. Thank you, Mr. O'Neill, Dr. Robertson, Reverend Stratton. Thank you all for being obedient. Thank you for taking a huge leap of faith because you believed in the importance of this school and you believed in us. Thank you teachers for walking so closely with us over the last four years of our lives and for embodying what it means to truly think and live well. We have learned so many lessons from you all that will last us a lifetime, so thank you. And most of all, thank you parents, thank you mom and dad, thank you for all the late nights and the long conversations, thank you for believing, investing, and sacrificing for us. Without you, none of this would be possible. And so when we get these diplomas today, this isn't just ours as students, but it's ours as a collective whole. And so let's all go out and celebrate what we have accomplished together. Six feet apart, of course. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, Pacifica is a very discussion-based school. And what I mean by that is that most of us who started Pacifica as freshmen, the very first question we were asked upon entering high school is what is the meaning of life? And which I don't know about you, but that's a pretty daunting question to enter high school with but it's followed four years later by an equally daunting question at the end of our senior year when we are asked, how then shall we live? Again, it's scary and it truly is, but you need to understand that every single day lesson and discussion that we have at Pacifica is leading up to answering this question. And so because of my faith, my family and my journey here at Pacifica, I feel more than equipped to start answering this question as I, along with my fellow classmates, step out into the world. Now, the greatest lesson that I've learned during my time at Pacifica that has guided me towards answering this question has to do with these, my hands. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean by that. Looking back over the last four years of high school, you can ask me or any one of my fellow classmates and we can testify to just how easily and quickly our plates can become too full. Pacifica in and of itself is a very rigorous education and it requires a lot of time and commitment on our parts. And so when you add in extracurriculars like athletics, the arts, or I don't know, a job, it's easy to see how even in high school, we are starting on this journey towards always chasing after the next best thing. And that's where these come into play. Because time and time again, as we are running from one activity to the next, filling our lives and our plates with all these amazing things, we are slowly becoming more and more tunnel visioned, more and more me centric, as we are losing sight of the world around us. And sadly, we are losing sight of the people in the world around us. And what happens is when we live me-centric lives is that these hands, they begin to close and they become tighter and tighter as we grip our plans for the future, our dreams, and their next best thing. And so, please do not understand me because I believe all these things are good and that this is the time in our lives to learn, grow, and explore in our character and in our education. But most of us are already running the rat race and we haven't even officially entered the world yet. And so although these things are good, there's one thing that we cannot forget in this whole journey, and that is the greatest commandment of all. That commandment is given to us by Jesus in Matthew 22, when he says to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. Because what happens is when we live me-centric lives is that these hands, they begin to close. And that makes it completely impossible for us to fulfill and live out this commandment, this greatest commandment. And so my question for all of us today is, where does this greatest commandment given to us by the Lord himself fit into our crazy lives? Because so often, even with the greatest intentions, we are striving so hard after our own goals and agendas that our hands begin to close and there's no room for our relationship with God or our relationship with others. Our lives become so filled that we have no time and no capacity to love. And if we're overwhelmed with our lives as they are now in high school, where does that leave room for our friends sitting next to us at lunch who's having a hard time at home? Where is our shoulder to cry on? Where are we to laugh and celebrate with our friends? Where is our capacity to see and serve the needs of the world around us for social justice issues? I mean, the list can go on and on. And at Pacifica, we learn that our education is fulfilled in service. 
And we have been given such a beautiful, enriching, and robust education. Thank you, Pacifica, for that. But what's amazing is that all of it is completely useless unless we can go and make this world better because of it. And so my challenge for you today, class of 2020, is would we enter this new journey today with open hands? There's nothing wrong with striving after the unique gifts and desires and ambitions that God has given you, because it's part of what makes this world so undeniably beautiful. But we need to do it with open hands. I mean, how amazing would it be if every single one of us could wake up every day and say, Lord, I surrender this day to you. Lord, would you open my eyes to those around me? Help me to be generous with my time, my money, and my words. Lord, may I be the greatest servant of all. Because I believe that if we can do that, if we can start every day living in full surrender to the God in whom this world and our lives already belong, that it is there that we will experience life and joy more full and abundant than anything we could possibly imagine or accomplish on our own. And if we can live lives with open hands in surrender to the God saying, Lord, your will be done in every situation in my life, that when the trials of this life come our way and they will, we will not be shaken because our hands are already open. It's when we have closed hands, closed fists around our dreams and our ambitions that when we encounter challenges, they rock our world because we are so focused in on what we deem is right and true. And you don't need me to say this because you all already know, but there are too many people in this world who live for themselves. And unfortunately, they, as well as those around them, suffer because of it. And so class of 2020, let's be a light to this world. Let's not be that way. Let's be an example to our communities of how to succeed, but not by our own might and strength and clenched fists, but through wholeheartedly loving our God and then our neighbor and then our passions to follow. Imagine the impact we could have if we did that. We could truly change the world. And I believe that we will. And so with all of that said, I'd love to end today by praying a quick blessing over you all. And I know it's a little strange because it's over video, but wherever you are, would you extend your hands with me as a model of this posture saying, Lord, I'm open and welcome whatever you have for me. And so class of 2020, would you go out into this world to bless it? Would you live lives in open surrender to the God in whom your life and this world already belong? And most of all, would you keep your relationship with our heavenly father and others as first in your hearts? Amen. Thank you all and congratulations class of 2020, well done.